Hello, this is Mark Denham, radio presenter, audio producer, voiceover and podcaster. And on the audio journey today, we're taking our second look at EQ. In the last part, we had a look at how to make your voice sound better using EQ. Today, we're looking at how to use EQ as a production effect. So we're assuming that you've already EQ'd your voices and they're sounding good. Now we're talking about using it as a production effect. In order to do that, and the eagle-eyed amongst you will notice that we are recording this um, pretty much after the part one, where I said that I wouldn't record any voice because of this cold that I've gotten, because it's made me sound a bit, well, coldy. Today, I have decided that I am actually going to record them in order to demonstrate this. So the first thing we have is a promo. Hello, this is Mark Denham, and you can listen in every Monday night at 8pm UK time on Atom Radio when I handpick the 80s. Now, in terms of EQ itself, that'll pretty much do. It's not bad. What I want to concentrate on is this bit here at the end. 80s and 8 on a Monday night, chosen by me. And in terms of using EQ as a production effect, I can select just this bit of the audio here. 80s and 8 on... And then I can go into the effects... Filter and EQ, parametric equalizer, start with the default on a Monday night, chosen by me. And you'll remember we applied the high pass filter, didn't we, before? We applied a high pass filter at 80, which I said you should do uh, for all your recordings to remove the low end rumble. Let's ramp that right up to 250 and have a listen. 80s and 8 on a Monday night, chosen by me. And then now, if you listen to the end of this podcast, now that we have applied that, if you listen to the end, listen on atomradio.co.uk, on TuneIn, on iTunes Radio, and on your smart speaker. 80s and 8 on a Monday night, chosen by me. And then that's ready now to overlay with music. This one here is a, uh, a voicemail. Hi, this is Mark. Sorry, I can't take your call. Leave me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Now, when have you ever made a phone call that sounds that good? In all seriousness, when have you ever? We'll go into the uh, multi-track here, and this will be uh, EQ test, or just EQT. That'll do. Uh, A little bit over carried away there with the, uh, with the, the, the typing. Right, so we have a phone. Hi, this is Mark. Sorry, I can't take your call. Leave me a message and I'll get I'll get back to you as soon as possible. All right, so that's lined up now, but the thing is, it doesn't sound realistic, does it? Hi, this is Mark. Doesn't sound realistic. You've got a full EQ voice there coming on a phone. Doesn't sound realistic. Filter and EQ, FFT filter this time. Start with the default, nothing happens. Hi, this is Mark. But there is a preset in here that you can use, the on-hold EQ, and all of a sudden now, it will sound like a phone call. Hi, this is Mark. Sorry, I can't take your call. Leave me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And then you have a more genuine sounding phone call by doing that. If we were to mix that down and uh, just have a little look here, you'll see if we go to the phone call mock-up, get rid of the essential sound window, open the frequency analysis window and we play this through. Um, Let's have a little look here. Hi, this is Mark. Sorry, I can't take your call. Leave me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. You can see there, can't you, that all of the um, all of the uh, the frequencies are in there, much like the other voices that we've used. Leave me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. You've got the full frequencies there. Now, if we have a look at this little mix down that we've uh, done here, which is here, and we play this again, watch the lack of frequencies in this. Hi, this is Mark. Sorry, I can't take your call. Leave me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And that's what we've done with the EQ. The last one now is a radio station imaging mock-up. This is your favourite radio station, playing nothing but your favourite songs. And what we'll do here is we'll go back into the uh, the multi-track for this and we'll take this voice in here on track three. Don't need the frequency analysis window anymore, so we'll close that. Uh, There it is, ready to go on track three, and we'll go in here, and we'll have a a little sound effect as we come into this. Uh, This is your favourite radio station. Doesn't really sound that butch at the moment, does it at all? It uh, doesn't really sound very radio station imaging. 
Uh, again, we'll use the parametric equalizer for this. Start with the default, and this time we'll put on a, uh, a very high, high-pass filter, 300. We're rolling off a lot of the low end. This is your favorite radio station. Uh, maybe we could have another effect in the middle. Let's put another effect in the, uh, in the middle there. Uh, a little cut there. Drag that across. Have that effect coming in there. And not a brilliant production because I've not really taken any time. I've just picked the first two effects. Um, let's match the clip loudness just so it's at least roughly the same volume. And you can hear... This is your favourite radio station. Playing nothing but your favourite songs. Now, there is one more thing you could do, which is not technically EQ. It's more mastering. We'll mute off the sound effects for now. Back to the effects rack for track three. Go down to special and mastering. Now, you want to start here with the default. The only one I'm suggesting that you touch here is the uh, the exciter. That was the word I was looking for. And it's written there right on the screen in front of me as well. Let's have a listen. We'll, uh, we'll put loop mode back on. Having turned it off, we'll put it back on. Let's have a listen. This is your favourite radio station. Playing nothing but your favourite songs. OK, so that's without any. If we boost up the exciter now, what you'll hear is you'll hear very, very crisp, very, very boosted and very distorted trebly sounds up at the top. This is your favourite radio station. Playing nothing but your favourite songs. And there you've added a little bit of extra EQ in the mastering. At this point in your mix, obviously, like you may be laying that down with uh, sound effects, you may be laying it down over music. Do not use the, uh, the loudness maximizer. Do not use the widener. But in terms of mastering, you may want to excite the voice. Probably don't want to excite the music. That's already been mastered. You may want to add a bit of reverb even to the voice, which isn't EQ, but you may want to add it to the voice in order to uh, make it sound a little better. You wouldn't want to do that, though, to the finished production. In terms of the finished production, you may very well wish to use the loudness maximizer to make it more, uh, more poppy, more compressed. You may wish to use the widener to amplify any stereo effects that you've used, like chorus or panning left and right. If you use the wider, uh, the widener, that'll make them even more. But I wouldn't suggest that you use the uh, the exciter at this stage. The other thing you could do if you're using the mastering is you could add a bit of reverb to it as well. This is your favorite radio station, playing nothing but your favorite songs. And that's EQ as an effect. You can see on the first one, the uh, the 80s promo mock-up. We've uh, changed the end of the promo. Listen on atomradio.co.uk, on TuneIn, on iTunes Radio, and on your smart speaker. 80s and 8 on a Monday night, chosen by me. And we've also created in the, uh, the multi-track here, using the FFT filter, we've created a, uh, a phone voice. Hi, this is Mark. Sorry, I can't take your call. Leave me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And we've also EQ'd the absolute heck out of the, uh, the voice here in terms of rolling off all of the low-end frequencies to get an imaging voice. This is your favourite radio station. Playing nothing but your favourite songs. And there you go. EQ can be used to make your voice sound better, to, uh, to get rid of the low-end rumble, and to accentuate the good frequencies in your voice, an EQ can also be used as a production effect. Hope this has been of some help to you. Uh, as always, if I can be of help to you, uh, leave me a comment down below. You can also uh, check out the website markdenham.com for the full audio journey. And of course, if you need a voiceover, if you need anything produced, your podcast or anything like that, then uh, check out the website. And you can always contact me through the contact page there or place an order, whatever you want to do. Uh, the next part of the audio journey, what are we going to look at next? Let me have a think and you'll find out next time you check it out. In the meantime, go make some amazing audio.